Welcome back to another Rap Phase 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Nemesis Enforcer. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to my friend Luke. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging art. As you can see, like, it's the same similar packaging art as Once a Man Cobra Commander. I think it's in, in the same type of style. So here is Once a Man uh, Cobra Commander uh, packaging art. It is definitely has the same kind of design uh, since they're kind of linked together with the Cobra Law. Same exact type of uh, packaging art for sure. Uh, same style, I should say. So they look really good together. I was hoping they would they would kind of join together somehow. That would be really cool. And it kind of does. As you can see down here, it's the same kind of organic type of uh, artwork. Alien type, HR Geiger type of alien art. <laughs> organic creepiness all throughout this packaging art. Nice display of the figure here and all the accessories. This artwork is phenomenal, looks awesome. And take a closer look at the back of the packaging here. There is Cobra Commander down there in the clam, held hostage. And we have a nice piece of artwork of Nemesis Enforcer flying through the air with his two swords. Got some <laughs> creepy zoom in aspects here of some of the uh, details of the figure number 140 in the line and on this side of the packaging you got a qr code and nemesis enforcer i'm gonna call him nemesis enforcer because that's his name boring crap on the bottom and uh, let's go ahead and take the figure out of the packaging so i got a trusty scalpel here let's go ahead and break the seal one piece of tape and it should come out and I have a different a uh, little bit of different setup here and there is Nemesis Enforcer in the plastic and here is the background with the creepy kind of snake tentacle thing happening here with kind of like a turtle shell <laughs> Let's get that all out of the packaging. All right, figure and accessories are all out of the packaging. It was held in there pretty tight with twine and plastic ties. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. So first off, we have two fists, purple fists. Check that out. Got some spikes on the knuckles. There is an up and down hinge on these fists. They're exactly the same, I believe. They look exactly the same to me. And next we have two identical swords here. They're kind of bone organic swords. Got a kind of like a, a fang for uh, on the end of the handle here. And it has these cool type of, looks like bone to me. <laughs> There's like kind of ridging here on the, uh, on this type of sword stabbing device. And they are both identical. And next we have the alternate head for Nemesis Enforcer. Uh, this is kind of like the battle ready uh, version uh, of his head. He got some cool uh, bone spikes on his head. He has no pupils, which are really, really creepy. <laughs> Very cool sculpting and paint detail on this uh, bone and purple color. Very cool. Check that out. He has a kind of a somber face. <laughs> super cool and second to last accessory we have this uh it looks like you know i remember this thing being thrown at and it's like a trap or whatever to keep somebody hostage with these creepy kind of tentacle snake type of things i don't know if they have any mouths on the end of these things but uh they're, maybe they're kind of like squid light like there uh there are bendy also you can see the holes 
in the bendy wire inside these. This is pretty freaking cool. Very creepy. And you probably could plug this in the back of the figure and maybe another figure too. And uh, there's no escape from Cobra Law. <laughs> there is kind of like another shell beetle looking. Ugh, it gives me kind of the creeps for sure. <laughs> I'm not a fan of bugs. <laughs> and the very last accessory here, we have the kind of bat looking wings, organic bat wings. And uh, apparently these are kind of sentient. Um, I heard it <laughs> online. And this is, it looks like a little, there is a kind of a bat face on the end of this. It's a uh, very, very creepy. It has some nice paint applications here. Kind of like a wash on the uh, kind of looks like hair, maybe. <laughs> and you got these uh, spiky shoulder type of things here. It looks, and there's a little bit of a kind of a wash on there. And uh, they're all kind of textured sculpting. And they are, look, check that out. They're really thin and translucent. There are little spikes at the end of the wings here. Very creepy. And there is a hole for a peg for like a backpack. <laughs> Again, that, that, that peg looks a little short to me. We'll see later on in this video. And they are articulated, uh, I believe. Check that out. They're hinged and it moves up and down. I think this is the only articulation point on these wings. There might be some here under the shoulders. I think that it kind of, kind of butterfly joint move. Yeah. Uh, it goes up and down and uh, side to side. It's a very tight, very cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So here is Nemesis Enforcer. He can stand, which is a good thing. So let's do a uh, wiggle test. Uh, torso, it is wiggly. As you can see, There's it's very loose in the torso area. Uh, that is really unfortunate. Um, I wish I was a little tighter. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these paint applications. Let's go right into the head here. Very plain head, purple head. There is some sort of texture on his head here, you can see. Another kind of angry, you know, he looks very sad uh, or angry. It's hard to say. <laughs> and I love the organic type of shell uh, design on this figure. Has a couple of tones of purple. Uh, got some crazy abs here. Looks like some sort of organic mutant human. Uh, very cool uh, shoulder pads, same kind of thing as that those bat wings, same kind of detail, kind of a dirty wash on there. You can see there's like a silver detail in the middle of his chest here. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm still kind of uh, reeling on this loosey goosey body. Um, but hopefully there is a way to tighten them up. I'm kind of pushing them together a little bit more. Maybe it wasn't put together. No, it is still loose, unfortunately. Taking a look in the back here, you can see the same kind of uh, paint details here. A kind of shell, purple type of pattern, texture all around. Same type of latex, <laughs> same kind of texture on his abs and whatnot. Going down his arms, um, I already mentioned the shoulder pads here. You got these giant kind of uh, bone spikes coming from his forearms and the, the arms are just stuck together. Uh, let's kind of warm those up a bit. The arms are super tight, but the abs are super loose. So it's, it's all over the place. Butterfly joints move all right. Not the greatest. Double jointed elbows, one is stuck. Uh, cool, uh, this is kind of loose. Check out those forearm guards, nice sculpting and texture in this purple plastic same thing on the other arms uh, trigger fingers for some reason uh, going down to his lower abdomen <laughs> uh, I got this uh, pretty 
protective crotch piece in uh, kind of a lighter red purple. Still kind of cool. Goes all the way around to the back. Legs. I don't know if there is a uh, swivel at the thigh here. I was told there was. So on second look here, there is a hidden swivel at the thigh. It's under this overlay here. And you can see when you pull the leg out, you could see it swivel. Check that out. Um, that is pretty awesome. I like the hidden swivel. Uh, double jointed knees. They are locked up. There you go. Just need to move them around a little bit. And the same kind of detail here, like a, a darker purple kind of shell looking uh, texture on the legs here. He has these massive holsters for the swords and they fit just like that fits right in and check out the paint applications on there it's kind of like in this dirty white moving down got kind of purple knee pads got these kind of shell details here on the calves got some uh, rotation up and down on the ankles not much up and down here might be a little seized up and this knee is locked So that's it, Nemesis Enforcer. It looks freaking awesome, definitely, but the quality is a little off, a little loose in the abdomen portion, like I keep on saying. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try on this crazy thing here, with the bendy wire. It's pretty awesome. Let's back out a bit. And that kind of plugs into the back. Assuming it, I think you can go either way. I think this way is cool. Let's see if it plugs in. Again, the peg is a little short, but it does plug in. And we got the bat wings. That plugs in. I heard a lot of people complaining about the the bat wings here, but they, I think they look pretty good. Like sculpt wise, they look cool, but I think people were complaining that they were too small and they were gonna use another set of wings from Gargoyles. That's what I heard. So there he is. He is top heavy for sure and loose. Um, I believe probably can move these up. Up, oh, you can. So that point of articulation right here, you can move them up. Hopefully it doesn't break. Awesome. That looks really cool. And I don't want to break it. And there he is. All loosey goosey. He looks friggin' great. He looks really awesome. Don't get me wrong here. Let's try a sword in his hand. Again, my one of my complaints here. Why does he have trigger fingers? He doesn't have guns unless he shoots like some organic bullets. You know, fits in his hand all right. Not too bad. And let's go ahead and swap out the head. I think I'm gonna use the other head on this figure. Ball peg is a really tiny for the size of this figure there you go there is the other head looks awesome i think this is the head i'm gonna stick with on my figure and we got fists of course i'm not gonna bother with that and he's very top heavy like i said before uh, let's go ahead and do a vintage comparison and take a look at the colors because this one is way more detailed than the vintage one all right so here is my vintage nemesis enforcer uh, of course like the colors definitely inspired by the classified i know the colors for the vintage one is very very more um, very more kiddish of course a lot brighter and uh, let's get the 
and the details look you can see there's like a silver emblem there in his chest very very reminiscent of both check that out same with the holsters they got the details right added way more detail got the extra head because this this head is more like this one right here you can look at the purples definitely a lot lighter than the classified a lot darker so they got the details all right and they just put it up to 11 made it way more creepier i really really appreciate that that is freaking amazing bringing the camera low here let's do a size comparison with nemesis enforcer with serpentor they go hand in hand together as you can see they're relatively around the same size and same width and whatnot so these are the that the probably the most <laughs> uh the largest figures in the classified line it wouldn't be a nemesis enforcer comparison without sergeant slaughter of course excuse uh, how a little dusty he is i try to clean him up as much as possible he's been sitting on my shelf for a long long time so as you can see they're kind of uh, uh relatively in the same type of superhero scale sergeant slaughter is obviously a little shorter than nemesis enforcer and a little bit shorter than serpentor but they look awesome together and here is another large figure that i have here's dark beast from the uh age of apocalypse i believe got this at saver slash valley village and uh this is probably another one of my larger figures that i own and as you can see nemesis enforcer is a freaking giant figure of course and uh it could put up a really good fight against beast here so there you have it guys there is my review of nemesis enforcer i'm happy to be back so i want to thank everybody for watching uh, if you're new here, thank you very much to all my subscribers. Uh, hit that like, make a comment down below, share, would be greatly appreciated. Yo, Joe and Cobra! Yeah.